hey guys welcome to another video finally it has been a while and i feel like it's not i feel like anymore at this point i know that all almost every time i now talk about consistency um i'm just a big fat liar like it turned out to be a lie at the end of the day because why is it every time i talk about consistency i just psh, but then it's not easy okay especially if you're not like a full-time content creator which i'm not so um that's that by the way second thing wrong with this video the lighting is not great so this is the only part of where i what's the word whatever that that is not um messy yeah that's because the past say two weeks now i've been really hard and hectic for me to be very honest and usually i'm that person who will come home from say a trip for instance or say i go to my sister's place and i come back home on a sunday evening 7 p.m i'm that person who will sweep the floor mop even though i left the house clean okay fine i have a couple of allergies i'm allergic to quite a number of things dust is one of them so before i leave i make sure everywhere is like you know and then when i come back i'm sweeping i'm mopping i'm washing my bathroom all in that same evening so i've graduated from there is it graduation or demotion now to my room is messy and i don't care i mean like half of my bed is covered in clothes that are washed thankfully and i've just not found the strength or the willpower to um to you know fool them so i'm hoping that there's another person out there who's like overwhelmed and all of that and i'm not the only one hi bestie hi 20. <laughs> anyway to um what i've been up to this while so first of all i want to try to make this video two days i have to film today i have to film tomorrow well not this filming filming on set tomorrow so i think i'm just gonna like merge both and do the most that i can you know to make sure that it works and all of that so um today is april 4 yeah and that makes ramadan day 13 it's been 13 days of ramadan it has been 13 days of hectic schedule between my normal eight to five that i dare not compromise on because i have deliverables every day and my side hustle as a host on a tv show for ramadan and i'm not going to lie i'm finishing work 4 p.m 5 p.m i'm jumping on set i'm coming back home like 10 p.m um weekends i'm not working i'm going like in the morning and coming back in the evening when the airplane is passing i hope the sound does not come in if it does sorry to you guys so it has just been a lot and i've been like really overwhelmed right and i'm tired a lot so if i'm not filming i'm working if i'm not working i'm trying to do the most with getting rewards this ramadan period and if i'm not doing that i'm sleeping now usually i find it hard to sleep in the afternoons but you see these days all it takes is just for me to get comfortable if i, if I get too comfortable in this video there's a high chance i will sleep yeah that's how tired I am. And I think my, my eye bags are like great now. Before they used to be like really big and really dark and all of that. So um yeah. I know nobody sends me, but you can align with you can you can you can do something you love and you know still be stressed and all of that. I think it is now that I I've just realized that that you know, as much as I love the whole TV life and hosting and and working with camera guys and the whole entire crew, it is a lot of work and also i have been over overestimating how strong i am hmm. because before right if you call strong women uh -uh, the yorubas will say i simply near i bound that is when you're not around that you know say me too so me too but as of today in this video i've realized that i'm not in fact i'm not strong at all so i cannot even be one of god's strongest soldiers no so basically, I'm done with work. The time is about past two or thereabouts. I'm done with work today. I resumed work like 6 a.m. And if you cannot relate, just imagine going to bed at, say, 10 or 11. Because I still finished work late yesterday. Because at the point, 
I couldn't keep my eyes open and my head was not working. I couldn't write. I had to take a short break from work. So I had to finish late. So imagine you go to bed 11-ish. That's like the third or fourth plane that has passed since I started this video. No money, no money, but people are flying here and there. We are all liars. That's all I know. Anyway, so imagine you go to bed 10, 11-ish. You're up by, say, 3.30 because you have because in the midst of all of this ramadan is going on and this is the month where you can get the most right so yeah i'm doing all of that you have to get up to pray and shortly after that is sahur so for today for instance you cannot even go back to bed because you're supposed to resume work by 6 a.m you still have to look for stories and there's this thing i do where i mentally prepare myself for work i tell myself bro we have woken up bro we're doing this today bro we're gonna do it whether we like it or not okay bro at the end of the month, salary is the goal. I remind myself every day. So that's how today has been for me. And there are days when I come back home 10 p.m., do the whole sleep late, wake up really early, and I still have to resume work 8 to 5. And as soon as I'm done, I already have a bag packed and I'm gone. So today again, I'm going to be taking you on set. I, I think I'll have to carry my tripod so I can film while I'm filming. Carry my tripod. Uh, there's plenty light. Plenty light. So this is the... After this period, you're not, you're not going to see terrible light, lighting again. So um, so what I want to do now, I'm supposed to, I was supposed to go on set. I should have been on set by now, but they called me this morning to say, um, you know, they rescheduled me, and which is really fine by me because I've not even packed. So what I do usually is they have, we have clothes on set that some brands provide. This time around, it was just one brand that provided us with clothes, but I'm not the only female presenter on set, so there has to be like a kind of like sharing formula. So what I do is I take my own clothes, the ones I've kept under the wardrobe for Christmas, for Sebo de Cola. Yeah, if I have to want to go anywhere, that's just where I go and pick. So I had to like pick out some of them to wear so that, um, you know, I'd have something to, you know, change and all that. So, uh, so what I just want to do is I just want to pack a couple of abayas, pack a couple of scarves, and yeah and then hit the road say around after astro so that's about four ish hit the road so what i want to do now is tidy up my work desk that's the only tidying i can do tidy up my work desk um pray look for what to wear hopefully this one's gonna take light look for what to wear and i'll just see you guys later this terrible lighting thing is annoying me myself so <laughs> another plane is passing people lie a lot too much is it too naira to enter plane i'm just leaving the house this is like four o'clock i'm late and um using both the uber this time of the day is disastrous because everybody is like it's going to be out now and there'll be mad traffic everywhere i'm not willing to part with that amount of money so i'm just going to do it with my usual ajepako i'm going to go and enter kk and uh i'm just going to tell them to like set up and all of that so that by the time i get there it's just straight to work then um i'll just bring you guys along as it works though i mean after now it's probably going to be like on the road and when i get to set um just straight to shooting so yeah see you later even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 Hustle out, hustle every single day. I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. To the system, I don't wanna be a slave. I've been doing shit my way, uh, or the highway, and in the driveway is a nice range. Cause I grind through the climb, I invite pain. You'll never hear me, bitch, nah, I don't complain. Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain anything you want, anything you need. Guys, I'm inside the lift now. This, this lift gives me the creeps sometimes. Anyway, I unlocked a new level of tiredness or whatever today. I slept off inside KK. <laughs> there was traffic everywhere and I slept off. Thank God I kept my phone. <laughs> hey. 
Hey guys, so this is the change room. This is a huge mirror. The huge mirror I've been obsessed with for for weeks now. And Ramadan is starting to show you my body, small, small. But this is the outfit of the day. I just remembered I did not do this. So I'm going to start filming in a bit. I'm going to sort out my outfit. Look forward to it. That's my own bag. A pink one. So I also want to sort out some of the clothes that we were given to know which one i'll be wearing first before trying my own outfits so um yeah so this is the tiny makeup i know how to do the small foundation small powder eyeliner and brush here that's all but this works for me because um i look i feel tired but on camera i don't really look tired like that my face is still bright so that's the point of all so i'm just gonna do my hijab and they are waiting for me already so i'm just gonna do my hijab and i think i want to do a two-way uh thing i'm not sure yet i'm gonna show you guys after me doing touch up like I know what I'm doing but then so uh, the outfit I'm wearing is a little big I think I'm just gonna show you guys like that but you're most likely not going to know yeah but it's pretty big so yeah it's super big I'm guessing this is a size 12 or something but it's super big but it's nice they also didn't remember to iron it but it's not a full look for this shoot it's just like up to here so it really works for me where's my watch um yeah pretty much and if you see all my scenery on the floor here you would think that i did something extraordinary but look at my face oh the light has gone We are changing position. Okay. So I'm coming. Um, I'm coming the the short summary of the businesses of the first business I'm going to be talking about. Well, the first business I'm going to be talking about the this segment I'm shooting is Shepard's Cave not my usual multi-guinness oh I actually anchor three two and a half segments so one is Shepard's Cave the one I'm doing today and the second one is the multi-guinness lounge that I'll be doing tomorrow so today involves business owners and I'm trying to just cram the bio of the person I want to talk about now so
So I'm done for today and I'm going to change out of this fine cloth and tomorrow is another day. So let me change. Mr. Uh, Redwan, why are you running from my camera? Say hello. That's my producer. <laughs> producer, where are you? Say hello. That's another one. Hey. Who is this? Is it? Where is Abdul? You don't want to say hello. <laughs> You're hiding actually. <laughs> hey guys. So the time now is 9.50 something, it's almost 10. Uh, the driver is going to drop me home. This is why I like working with these people. Apart from the work and the draining and the plenty of work I have to do, the whole welfare and stuff is well taken care of. So they're gonna drop me off. Call time tomorrow is 9 a.m. So I have to be in the studio before nine. Then um, we're at the first station, we came to get for, uh, and then from here, she dropped me off at, uh, I'll be chilling with my cousin till tomorrow because her place is a bit closer than mine and it just makes sense to stop over at that place. So I have my stuff in my bag, I have my laptop for work tomorrow, even though I'll be on set, you know, all of that. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later, probably tomorrow because I'm pretty sure I won't be getting home until like maybe past 10. 10 30 and i just want to pray shy do my tarawi and go to bed so this is all for today let me just put it that way and i don't know this naughty silly pimple hmm. <laughs> my village people anyway see you guys tomorrow tomorrow would be wednesday 5th of april so bye